So there's this question that has not seemed to get an answer. Like this question people, you know, ask most of the time and it seems as though no one is answering their question. And this question is, sex on first date, does it make you cheap? Does it make a lady cheap or whatever? And, um, you know, relationship expert blessing, CEO blessing Okoro actually, you know, responded, replied, answered this question to a fan that is seeking an answer. Now, this is what she said. She said that, the fact that a lady is already asking that question, that if I ask sex with a guy on the first date, does that make me cheap? The fact that you already have that question in mind, it means you already have an intention of having sex with him, you know, on the first date. And she may mention that having sex with um, someone on the first date is not what will make you cheap. But the fact that you don't ask important questions the first time you meet, like you should be able to ask important questions before thinking of sex. A sex is actually cheap. You can get sex anywhere. But when you're meeting someone for the first time, you should be able to ask questions that will let you know if this person has sense or not. So it is now your own place to answer this question by yourself. If sex on the first date will make you cheap or not. But guys, come to think of it. I guess this is where I want you guys to visit my comment section. Tell me what you think about this issue, sex on first date. Is it um, something that will make you look cheap or will it make you cheap if you have sex on your first date? So the comment section is open. Let us have this conversation in the comment section. Nigerian dancer Jane Mina actually, you know, decided to shoot the internet a bit. Now we know what happened with, between ourselves, Tonto DK, Popo Giri, and all of that gist, that gist, guys, you know that gist I'm talking about. So guys, she made a post where she said that um, they made a fake tape and fake picture of her, sex video and all that of her, and she need people to know what saved her, that that person in that video, that person in that picture, isn't her. And what saved her from that is the fact that she has a small boobs and the person in that video and picture doesn't have a small boobs. So according to her, her boobs actually saved her from the whole mess and the whole disgrace of the fake video and fake picture. Guys, this issue, are we still talking about this thing? I mean the Tonto DK, the Popo Giri, the Jane Mena issue. Are we still talking about it? Because it seems as though, even though uh, it's not so much in the news, we still have it like something, you know, when you say um, they, are, they just want to cover, you, cover the carpet or they want to, you know, sweep it under the carpet, something like that. That is what it's looking like. But right now, nobody actually saw a, a, a tape of Jane Mena or somebody, we, they actually talked about it, but the video, the tape didn't actually come out. We didn't see that. But guys, she's talking about it now. So that means the tape is out there. According to her, she's not the person in that video. Guys, look who is praying for a baby girl in 2022. Like, guess who? Just guess who? Guess who, guys? No one else but the father of twin and Nigerian singer, Kiss Daniels. Yes, guys, he actually made that on his Insta story, saying that he wants God to bless him with a baby girl in 2022. Well, I hope his prayer comes true. I hope his wish comes true. I hope his dreams comes to reality. Well, all the same, guys, Kiss Daniel is enjoying, you know, the father duty to a set of twins and more or less like, oh gosh, oh gosh. So what about those girls who are actually tripping and hoping that someday they could have something to do with Kiss Daniel, the cute Kiss Daniel. Well, guys, you know, I guess this is somewhat like an opportunity. Kiss Daniel's wants to have a baby girl who wants to you know volunteer herself to give kiss daniel a baby girl well i'm just saying i'm just saying guys so yes i hope kiss daniel's prayer comes to pass nigerian dancer kathy replies a critic following a divorce announcement now she says that you are not the author of a life and you can't write a story so a video of kathy actually went viral a few days ago where she was talking about marriage, she was talking about divorce, she was actually talking about a marriage, and she says that divorce or separation doesn't have to be toxic and bitter. Like you can still have a good relationship with your ex, 
It doesn't always have to be, you know, a bitter one, a toxic one and all that. Now, what actually, you know, got people talking is the fact that people never knew that um, Kafi is divorced. Like, it actually came as a shock to some people. I don't know about you, but it came as a shock to me that Kafi is divorced. And really, you really wouldn't be able to tell if she didn't come out this time to say it. Now, she said a lot of things about, you know, marriage. She said a lot of things about divorce. Um, especially her uh, own marriage, her own divorce and everything. And guys, I really can't say much about this. I just want you to take a look at this video. Watch this video clip yourself and drop a comment in the comment section to tell us what you think about this video she made. I really, I've always wanted to see, you know, my ex is the best version of him. And even taking a chance of breaking up this marriage was also to see that we both grew in what we really, really are supposed to be. Marriage is supposed to be an alignment, you know, of destinies, you know, driving towards a place God wants for them. And mine didn't really work out that way. And rather than looking at somebody as a problem, sometimes you could be the problem of that person. You know, being an enabler, of someone's not being able to do what they are supposed to do can also be that you are not supposed to be in that space so there was a lot to learn and there's still a lot more to learn all right guys thanks for watching till the end of this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get more updates when we make a post you can also drop a comment in the comment section i am still your favorite girl and host blessing robinson robbie blessing on instagram and this is gold edge tv your favorite entertainment channel where we'll bring you latest hot and trending entertainment just see you in my next video bye for now